thank you for all you've done to help me earn over $53,000 in advertising revenue on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 49 videos out of more than 2,000 videos on my YouTube channel. The purpose of showing you these videos is to help you see out of all the videos I've put up, the top 2% of the videos I've done to help you learn what actually works to make great ad revenue on YouTube and to get inspired to create your next videos in a way that will help you earn the most ad revenue. I've got all these set up conveniently for you in the description in a playlist in the exact order. If you want to watch any one video specifically more to study it, it's in a playlist called My Top 49 YouTube Videos by Ad Revenue 2016 to 2019. I'll do a new one of these each year to keep it updated. All of these are listed in order as they are today and I'll go walk you through each of these videos right now with the exact earnings. I trust if this is helpful, you'll hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video and ask any questions you've got in the video. The first, this is very clear. I've also deleted some of the hacking videos which earned a lot of money on my channel and YouTube since did a policy update where instructional hacking videos are not allowed. Therefore, this report does not have any income from those videos which did earn a lot and that have since been removed. This video just includes what is actually on my channel today. My number one earning video is a Facebook marketing live stream tutorial I did. This one has earned 9% of the total income on my channel. Think about that for a minute. Out of 2,700 plus videos I've done, one video has earned almost 10% of the ad revenue. As we can see, doing one really good video is often much better than doing just quantity. However, this video is not the first video I did on Facebook marketing. In fact, I did a lot of Facebook ads and marketing tutorials before this one. I had a bunch of students I brought over from Udemy via free educational announcements. I had a very solid audience on my channel before I put this video up on a lot of videos that got a lot less views but got subscribers. If you want to see the beginning of this video, I won't go take you through all my videos. That'll take too long. Let's watch a little bit of the beginning of this video because then you'll be able to see how incredible it is that this one video earned so much even though I think it's kind of low Welcome quality. to what I hope will be the best Facebook marketing tutorial ever for you for 2017. I'm Jerry Banfield. It's November 20th, 2016. I'm creating a tutorial here that I hope will be extremely helpful for you based on my experience doing these things for myself. I have a verified Facebook page. I have over 2 million likes on Facebook and my posts have reached over 768,000 people in the last week for free with the largest part of that audience in the US. As we can see, the quality of this video is not that great. My face, if you look at it, does not even look, it's not as well lit as the amazing videos I have today. The microphone on that video is not as good as the setup I'm using today. And it's got this cheesy white line with patreon.com slash Jerry Banfield that's super obnoxious across the entire top of the screen. You might be thinking, oh my God, that video earned five plus thousand? What you want to see, or 4,800 or whatever. The key with this video is that it's a two hour free Facebook marketing course. And it walks through, and the key is uh, at the beginning, I also do a good job of selling the amount of reach I'm getting on my posts for free. Now, the trick to this was I was doing live streams when they were pretty new on Facebook and Facebook was pumping my posts out like crazy. Thus, when people see at the beginning of the video that, oh, this guy's getting a lot of post reach for free and he's got a verified pace Facebook page with millions of followers, that makes it very obvious that it's legit, that I actually am working from a lot of experience on my page. And the thing that also helped a lot is I already had a lot of followers who'd bought my Facebook marketing courses, who'd bought my Facebook advertising courses, 
and who are watching my YouTube channel for new updates. This was a brand new free course I put on my channel and those initial viewers gave it a lot of likes and uh, converted into subscribers. If you want to get a lot of views, it helps a lot to put a video out that converts people into subscribers. That tells YouTube it's a really good video. And then once you have that, YouTube will show this around. That said, the topic of this video is very relevant to how much I earned in ad revenue. This video is not, in terms of views, the most views I got on a video. In fact, there's other videos that have got a lot more views on my channel, and what you'll notice is this one earns more because of the topic. Certain topics on YouTube get extremely competitive, and on those topics, the ad revenue is really good. You'll notice this one, 211,000 monetized playbacks, 4,800 in earnings. But some of the other videos, for example, this one, Start Developing Android Apps Today, released right around the same time. This one having a lot more views, but the playback-based CPM much lower. You know, This top video... $41 playback-based CPM. That means advertisers are paying a lot to be featured on that video. Some of my other videos, much lower earnings, and that also reflects what country people are watching from. This video, a lot of people in higher cost countries were watching it. Some of these other videos, the audience from countries not as high of cost to advertise. Therefore, the exact place the audience is determines the earnings. This one is a video I'm very excited about. Out of all 49 of the videos I've got to show you on here. This one is one of the newest top performers. If I show you this one, it's currently not even in the top 10. However, out of all the videos I've done, this is one of the only newer videos that has really taken off because I did a lot of videos before on my channel that, that were very good in this time period. If I show you the total earnings, You'll notice things were continuing to go up and up here. And then you might wonder, okay, well, what happened here? It's actually what happened about back here. During 2017, especially the end of it, I stopped creating along the lines of what I'm showing you here. I stopped putting out videos that were doing really well. I stopped creating really good videos and it took like a year and a half vacation into making all kinds of tangent topics. I got away from doing the basics of what was consistently increasing the ad revenue on my channel. I also had a lot of cryptocurrency videos in this period. And when the cryptocurrency bubble burst and I did not put any new videos on other topics on my channel, my ad revenue dropped and dropped and dropped down to a low of maybe $15 a day or so. And now I've finally started putting out some more good videos, in fact, some great videos, and the ad revenue now is trending back up. And I imagine it's going to consistently go up from here as I stick to the basics on my channel. If you want to see this is the newest successful video I've done. I'll show you the beginning of this one also because it's a template. It's a template that you can use to make videos like this that have very good earning potential. Let's show you the beginning of this one. Are you ready for a complete G Suite installation tutorial from the very beginning before I've even signed up all the way through having everything set up and functional that I need for my business? If so, will you please watch this because I think you'll love it. I've used G This video you're watching here, this is called G Suite Tutorial. It is an in-demand topic on YouTube that not a lot of creators have put videos out about that I went and did. I literally just hit record, went through the entire process signing up a new G Suite account and had it edited and uploaded on my channel. It's a 30 minute tutorial and even though the feedback, there's been a significant amount of negative feedback on it, the average amount of watch time people are spending on the video is over five minutes, which is awesome. 
and the amount of views. In the first month, it only got 100 or maybe 300 views in the first month. But what YouTube discovered is this video works great in search results. It addresses an in-demand topic where there's not a lot of tutorials and yet there's a lot of people searching for it. And if you go back here, what you'll notice about this particular video, if we highlight it here, you'll notice this one, even though it's gotten only 0.3% of the views, You'll notice this video has actually got 1.8% of the total ad revenue. And why? Because this is a topic advertisers pay a lot for. $70 CPM. Because advertisers know if someone is looking for a G Suite tutorial, this means they are into business services and there's a lot of potential, especially software as services, that you can sell them. And therefore, reaching people watching a video like this is good for advertisers to potentially make their own sales and increase their business. Thus, this video, even though much less in views, this one may be, this is definitely heading into the top 10, maybe even top five, because the CPM's so high. If I look through all my other videos, that is the highest CPM I've got by far on any of my videos. Therefore, the topic you pick for your YouTube videos is very relevant to how much you earn out of them. If you th think things like gaming are often attractive in terms of, oh, I want people to watch my videos, but things like gaming often earn a very low CPM. I'll go through every video here one by one in a minute. I'll show you the game, some of my gaming videos. I have a League of Legends video, this one. It's called, Can a Pro Coach Help Me Get Out of Bronze in League of Legends? This was a recorded live stream I did that at the time hardly anybody watched, and YouTube just loved this and put this viral. I'll show you the beginning of this one. Okay, I just started the Twitch stream. Well, Let's see what happens. Hector, I appreciate you being here with us today. I'm interested to learn more about you too. When it take you a while to get out of bronze, even if you have a 100% win rate. Yeah, that's fine. You can use your wards as the jungler to cover your, your lane. Something you can do. In this video, I hired a professional League of Legends player for maybe 30 or 40 euros to coach me and see if that could improve my level of gameplay. My friends were playing League of Legends at the time and I hired, I wanted to do better, I wanted to play better. And I played really good in this video compared to how I usually did as a bronze three player. And if you look by the end of the video, I had a much better game than I usually had, if I can find the end of it. I ended up going something like, where is it? Where, where is it? There it is. I ended up getting five kills, only one death, and four assists, and very much helping my team get the win. The coach has such a pleasing voice to his name as well, and that made this, for some reason, people just went crazy and watched a lot of this video, is the same kind of questions other people were asking. It's a video that no one thought to make, to hire a professional coach and then put the question, can I just, is it as easy as just paying a pro coach to get out of bronze? And yes, if I literally would have just paid the coach to work with me more often, I, I was finding I was getting to be a lot better at League of Legends. Now note on this, video, even though it got th over 300,000 monetized views on it since 2016, you'll notice the CPM on this one is only $6 because advertisers are not competing as much. Even though this video at 300,000 views and the G Suite tutorial 23,000, the G Suite tutorial versus this one, the League of Legends tutorial has 10 times as many monetized views, and yet this G Suite tutorial is almost earning the same amount of money and in fact is going to out-earn in time. This G Suite tutorial will make more ad revenue than this video, which went viral and which got is 
close to a million views, maybe 800,000 or so, whatever it says on here. Almost 800,000 views on this video. This little G Suite tutorial is going to out earn it. And what you can learn from this is that you don't need to make videos that go viral and get millions of views to get some really good earnings on YouTube. What we'll do to finish this up here is go through the whole list of my videos by the earnings. That way you can see in detail exactly what the earnings look like. First, the Facebook marketing tutorial, 4,800 for this one. Google AdWords tutorial, this was a three hour Google AdWords tutorial. If I go back to the playlist over here, this is my second highest earning video. It's four, almost four hours long. Another AdWords tutorial and another Facebook. Therefore, the top four videos on my channel, you'll notice a common theme. These were business oriented, people likely to spend money and therefore advertisers want to reach. All of these long format tutorials, this one four hours almost, this one over two, this one over one, and this one nearly an hour. And many of these built on videos I'd released previously. There's also a different kind of tutorial I put up I hired freelancers to make Linux tutorials, hacking tutorials, Android tutorials, and even made arrangements with another course creator to put up his videos on my channel, which I advertised. On many of these videos, I did some ads to get them off the ground, and ads were working a lot better back then than they are now to get organic ranking. Some of these, not this top one, I didn't do any ads on this top one, but on this one and these Google Ads tutorials, I did some ads, maybe a few hundred dollars in ads to get them off the ground. That way, I helped push them higher in the organic ranking before I had an audience. And then, as you can see, the ad revenue has more than paid for that. In addition to the ad revenue, many of these videos earned an absolute fortune from selling online courses. For example, this Facebook marketing tutorial got people to sign up for my partner program, got people to buy a bunch of online courses from me, got people to pledge on Patreon. The ad revenue is a minority of what I've earned as a result of my YouTube channel. Therefore, you want to think things like selling online courses and memberships as the primary revenue driver instead of just considering ad revenue unless it's something like this G Suite tutorial where I can't verify anyone's ever bought a course on this, but hey, to make a 30-minute tutorial for $900 plus a whole lot of potential in the future, it seems like a good deal. If I continue to scroll down here, I will show you much more detail since in, in these videos. I did a lot of cryptocurrency videos that were doing really well for a while because I had a niche on my channel. I was one of the few creators who had a cryptocurrency audience and was making cryptocurrency videos early on. Now, I managed to completely botch this by pumping one currency relentlessly and stopping making tutorial videos. If you'll notice, almost all of these crypto videos are tutorials. If I tab over to the playlist and scroll down here, these crypto videos are tutorials. Here's an hour-long video. Now, this one's funny because I literally recorded what I was already doing anyway. I needed to, I was trading and I just recorded it. I figured I might as well put this on my YouTube channel. I just sat there and traded and I did that on, and I found titles for things that people were likely to search and managed to tie that into my video. On this one, I took about two hours to prepare a presentation. I was researching myself. I wanted to know, can I make, how much money can I make mining Ethereum? I did the research myself to see how much everything would cost, and I found all the parts I needed and calculated all the expenses to make 200 a day mining Ethereum on my own. And then I figured, well, I went and did the research already for this. I might as well just do a video to show everybody else how to do that. And that video got a lot of views, a lot of subscribers, although the ad revenue 
in terms of CPM was not that great. It got over 190,000 monetized views. The video earned $905 in ad revenue and helped me make a lot more from other crypto videos. Many more of these you'll see crypto videos, crypto videos, crypto videos. Again, the common theme is an in-demand topic that people are looking for. And sometimes the only way to find this is to look at what I'm doing and what I'm learning about and just make a bunch of different tutorials all over the place. With cryptocurrencies, I made a bunch of tutorials all over the place on my channel and I noticed the crypto ones were gaining traction. Today, I see the online course creation videos I'm doing are getting a lot of traction and I imagine a lot of my top 50 for 2020 will be online course creation videos. As we continue scrolling down, a lot of these are the same type of video, long format tutorials. This one's a little bit different. I did an income report showing my earnings from Udemy, Teachable, Skillshare, YouTube. I was one of the first instructors to put an in-depth report showing how much money I was making on all these platforms and had really big numbers. And that has gotten almost 500 in ad revenue, 32,000 views on that one. A pretty good CPM for that video as well. I've done some newer Android app development tutorials that are off to a very good start. This one from 2019, $400 on it so far. Some of the most random ones I've done are actually things you might call failures. If you look at this one, I put a video up saying how Chase Bank had closed my business account after selling Bitcoin with cash payments, $417 in earnings from this video, so random. S same thing with this Facebook ads. I guess uh, when uh, people are experiencing these kinds of painful failures, they're going out and looking for help and then they find my videos and say, oh, well, this happened to him too. It helps people feel better, figure out what to do next, and it also stimulates discussion because what I've noticed on things like this Chase Bank one and Facebook disabled one, these painful failure videos, so to speak, people get really chatty and start posting comments and saying, well, this is wrong. They shouldn't do that. And well, they, it's right. They should have done that. There get to be debates and having videos where debates get going are really good for ranking videos. If I scroll down farther here, this was actually a pump video I did which managed, I just promoted it so much that it got a lot of organic traffic. And at this making this video is what started destroying my cryptocurrency audience. My unique selling proposition on YouTube, or what makes me special, so to speak, is honesty. I just do my videos with minimum or no editing, and I just tell the truth, whatever the truth is for that day. And I got sucked into this one cryptocurrency trying to promote it over and over again. And uh, that ruined my unique selling proposition of trust and honesty is people got sick of hearing the same thing over and over again. Thus, if you work hard to build an audience, it's important to sustain it. Now, that doesn't mean you have to keep making videos in the same niche, but if you do something, and I've learned this the hard way, if I do something, make sure I want to keep doing it. As you can see, a lot of these videos, for example, the League of Legends, the gaming videos, I don't do those anymore. And I've worked so hard to get an audience for those and then I don't even use it. Thus, it's what you can see out of a lot of these videos. I did clever hustles. I worked with people that could, uh, I paid people to make courses or collaborated with people, promoted their videos. But then I got all these subscribers and these ad revenue earnings that I don't make any more videos about it. That leads to negative feedback. And that's why so many people ask, well, what's with your amount of subscribers versus your views? Well, I've, I've focused so much on making money, building a following. I didn't think about how am I going to serve that following over the next 10 or 20 years. Therefore, if you really want to do better with your ad revenue, as I'm learning, think long term for everything. Make tutorials, especially in-depth tutorials on subjects advertisers are competitive for. These uh, are these and these are my top videos in here that I've shown you all kinds of different topics you'll see t-shirts, private label rights, crypto. This is one of my newer promising YouTube videos right here. 
It's an advertising tutorial on how to do YouTube ads. If I check this one, you'll see the ad revenue is starting to come out great on this one. The top earning so far, $5 in a single day. Now my top videos have made as much as something like 100 in a single day before and it, you, you gotta keep building it up. Down here, a League of Legends video. Another one, same basic theme, and then more crypto videos. So this is a look at my top 49 videos, the key lessons I've learned along the way. And you'll notice when you put a bunch of videos together, there's this snowball effect where I was, I, and you'll notice a lot of the videos I released were released in this period here. And I released a lot of high quality in-demand videos and then the ad revenue, if you look at the total, I released a lot of good videos in here and that led to good ad revenue here. But I stopped putting out very many good videos in here and then the ad revenue was flat for almost two years until finally I've, I'm, I'm doing great putting out some videos that people are finding really helpful. I've gotten back to basics, tutorial videos, and now the ad revenue is trending up and is likely to go up consistently lest I self-sabotage myself again. Thank you very much for watching this full video all the way to the end. Please leave a comment if you've got here. Well, I guess you wouldn't be hearing this if you hadn't got here. But please leave a comment that you've actually watched all the way to the end so I can make sure to see it and give you a thank you for it. I trust if you haven't already, you will love joining us, me as a subscriber on my channel to help you see new videos like this. Make sure to turn notifications on if you want to make sure to see new videos and to keep getting my updates. The playlist again is available in the description for you if you want to look at any one video in particular. And uh, I've got a lot more on my website at jerrybanfield.com. I've got courses at jerrybanfield.com slash courses showing the newest of what I'm doing in advance before it goes up on my YouTube channel. And I'm focusing my business going forward totally on building an outstanding website and then using YouTube to do the marketing for that. I've got a lot more I'm excited to share about that with you and I hope you'll join me for new videos. Uh.